Hello, everybody, and welcome to Planet FPL, the world where everything revolves around Fantasy Premier League. My name's Serge. And my name is James. It's Wednesday. It's quiz day. Before we get into the old quiz, James, um, any news on these fixtures? Where are these fixtures? Any news on these <laughs> fixtures? I can't do nothing. I need these fixtures. What do you need the fixtures for in preparation for next Wednesday when we do Sky again? Is but everything. I need to know. I want to, I want to start... Just so I want to figure out if I'm playing my free hit or I'm wild carding or what I'm doing. Um, to be honest, uh, well, you know the fixtures for week one, mate. Doesn't make a difference. No, that's true. That's true. Um, it's just everybody case... chilled up out. It's <laughs> <laughs> um, coming. Good, good, good. Um, today's quiz is Premier League debuts. I'm probably it's probably the the one I'm least looking forward to. However, Thanks, mate. you can disappear now anytime you like. <laughs> um, I, I, there's a very distinct chance I'll get zero on this. Even though I tried to do research, I feel like there was a lot of obscure um, debuts, like Joe Cole, like the stuff that comes up on the internet is like Joe Cole's debut at Liverpool for Liverpool or Wayne Bridges' debut for his one season on loan at West Ham or just that's, weird stuff like that. That's two answers you just give everybody. <laughs> Seriously. So I was going to, I thought when you said Premier League debuts, I thought, because that's not his Premier League debut, say Joe Cole for, uh, for Liverpool. That's his debut for Liverpool, but it's not his Premier League debut. So I was working off the assumption that you were only looking for their first Premier League appearance debut. Nah, I told you this can spin off into many different ways. Miss sold. I'm, I'm, I'm Trades Description Act. So actually now... Maybe I you might won't get be. zero. <laughs> uh, I, don't, I, I don't know about that, to be honest. I didn't because when I saw those, I didn't really read into detail. I was like, on to the next one. Thank you very much. But let's see. Let's see. There's teams involved. There's everything involved. What are we doing? 20 questions? There are 20 questions. Total of 25 possible correct answers. Um, as kind of highlighted from the discussion already gone, and I'm not saying those players are necessarily answers, by the way, um, that a, they are involved in Premier League debuts. They can be an actual Premier League debut. It could be something, but I'll say if it's, you know, on his Tottenham Premier League debut, for example. Right, OK, I will OK. I specify okay. that kind of thing. And it's going to go off into a, a couple of different places and that. I think some of these questions are very tough. Some of them for the, the quiz buffs will be like, oh, Jesus, James, give us a proper question. Um, there'll be complete giveaways. So a bit of a balance. Good. That's what we like. Uh, and this, um, I hate to uh, disappoint people. This is our last quiz before next week. Sky Fantasy Football comes back on a Wednesday. However, we are going to be continuing the quiz for our Patreon members. So if you're enjoying the quiz and you like quizzes, James is good at putting the quizzes together, then you know where to head over, patreon.com forward slash planet FPL, and you'll continue to get 10 pieces of content a week rather than the five um so yeah you i think this quiz is as much fun for watching my answers as it is for doing the questions so yes um the comedy value let's crack on james <laughs> let's do it 25 answers question number one okay good luck everybody question one has two correct answers one point for each Two Manchester United players who came through the academy at United have scored twice on their Premier League debut. Both were at Old Trafford. Both were in the final months of a season, one in 2014, one in 2016. Can you name them? One point for each. Two Manchester United players come through the academy at Old Trafford and have scored twice on their Premier League debut. Both were at Old Trafford. Both were in the final months of a season. One in 2014, one in 2016. Can you name them? Final months I'll define as final three months. There you go. Mm. How's your luck, Suj? 2014. Uh, one yes, one no. Yeah, that's the same as everybody else. Right, moving on. <laughs> <laughs> Question two. Which player from Benin began the, began the 2017 season with a double at Selhurst Park? Which, Which player, player from, from Benin? Benin. Benin. Which player from Benin 
began the 2017 season with a double at Selhurst Park. Uh, obviously, that was his Premier League debut. All right. Okie dokie. Question three. Danny Rose scored an unforgettable volley against Arsenal on his full Premier League debut in 2010. But who was in goal for Arsenal? Danny Rose scored an unforgettable volley against Arsenal on his full Premier League debut in 2010. But who was in goal for Arsenal? All right. <clears throat> Question four. Which player made a Premier League debut for a new club against Manchester City twice this season and across the two games, his sides conceded 10 goals? Which player made a Premier League debut for a new club against Manchester City twice this season and across the two games, his sides conceded 10 goals. How's your luck, right? Walk into debuts against Man City twice. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they, they, they have a habit of spanking teams. So, I mean, obviously they gave us a 5-0 hiding on the first day of the season, but I'm just thinking there's no one that I can think of from our team that went on to somewhere else. They've got another 5-0 spanking. Um, yeah, okay. It's a good question, that one. Cheers, pal. Question five. Mike Dean has refereed 504 Premier League games. The first was between Leicester and Southampton at Filbert Street. For three possible points, can you name the two managers that day who have also managed England and the year? Mike Dean has refereed 504 Premier League games. The first was between Leicester and Southampton at Filbert Street. Can you name the two managers that day who have also managed England? And can you name the year? Total of three points available on that question. Question number five. As your luck, Serge. Uh... I'm going with definitely one and then maybe two. Okay. Don't forget a year. Yeah, I've got a year. Question six is a simple true or false. No player has ever scored a hat-trick on a Premier League debut. That's uh, obviously first ever appearance in the Premier League, not including move to second Premier League club. So true or false, no player has ever scored a hat-trick on a Premier League debut. Okay. Question seven. Which player made his second Premier League debut for the same club this season, having signed uh, back from Everton in the summer? Which player made his second Premier League debut for the same club this season, having signed back from Everton in the summer? So, obviously, he's gone back to a club he played for previously, rejoined from Everton. All right. Question eight. Which Czech player scored twice on his Liverpool Premier League debut in a win at Bolton in 2002. Which Czech player scored twice on his Liverpool Premier League debut in a win at Bolton in 2002? Mm. 
Is this one that I need to uh, pull out my Champ Man archives, James? I couldn't possibly tell you. Okay. Question nine. Which side debuted in the Premier League with a 4-0 opening day away win at Wigan in 2010? Which side debuted in the Premier League with a 4-0 opening day away win at Wigan in 2010? All right. Question 10. There's two possible answers. Which two players were sent off making their Premier League debuts for Liverpool and Arsenal, respectively, on the same opening weekend in 2010. Which two players were sent off making their Premier League debuts for Liverpool and Arsenal, respectively, on the same weekend in 2010? All right. Question 11. Which African player scored twice on his Tottenham debut against Portsmouth in 2005? All right. Which African player scored twice on his Tottenham debut against Portsmouth in 2005? Question 12. Ali Dia famously got Southampton to give him a one-month contract in 1996 and made a substitute appearance against Leeds. Who did Dia apparently claim to be the cousin of? Ali Dia famously got Southampton to give him a one-month contract in 1996 and made a substitute appearance against Leeds. Who did Dia apparently claim to be the cousin of? Is that question 11, James? It's question 12. Yeah. I've screwed up my numbers. I always do this. Well, how do you do it? Because the question four, I didn't have an answer. I put Man City in brackets because your question was about Man City. And then I put the answer for question five in question four. It's all right. Uh, I've got nice, neat handwriting. I'll be able to figure it out. Cool. Question uh, 13 then, James. Okay. Question 13. Who scored a debut double against Queen's Park Rangers in 2012-13 and went on to score 18 times that season? Who scored a debut double against Queen's Park Rangers in 2012-13 and went on to score 18 times that season. Alrighty. Question 14. Who became the Premier League's youngest player at the time in 2003 when he appeared as a substitute for Leeds and would go on to win 21 England caps? Who became the Premier League's youngest player at the time in 2003 when he appeared as a substitute for Leeds and would go on to win 21 England caps? Are you happy, sir? You look deep in fault. Uh, uh, I don't know about these 21 England caps. Uh, 21 England caps is quite a lot is it <laughs> it's not huge but it's not it's not like one or two it's not a random player that just came off the bench once or twice so okay question 15 has three possible answers sorry James question 14 came off the bet no who made their debut yeah you want me to repeat question 14 yeah please who became the Premier League's youngest player at the time in 2003 when he appeared as a substitute for Leeds and would later go on to win 21 England okay. caps in his career. I appeared as a substitute, fine. I'm going to go with that. That's fine. All right, cool. 
Question 15 has three correct answers. Can you name the three Englishmen who debuted as Premier League managers this season? Can you name the three Englishmen who debuted as Premier League managers this season, i.e. this season was the first season they'd ever managed in the Premier League? Englishman, eh? English. Um, English. Yeah, keep it going. Question 16. Which 17-year-old scored a stunning injury time winner for Manchester United against Aston Villa in 2009? Which 17-year-old scored a stunning injury time winner for Manchester United against Aston Villa in 2009? Also happened to be his Premier League debut. For Manchester United? For, well, for anyone. Okay, for anyone. Question 17 yeah. is, a who, is a who am I? I may be remembered by fantasy managers as an expert penalty taker. I am the current manager of a League Two team and made my Premier League debut as a 37-year-old wearing claret and blue in 2009. Who am I? I may be remembered by fantasy managers as an expert penalty taker. I am the current manager of a League Two team and made my Premier League debut as a 37-year-old wearing claret and blue in 2009. How many teams you know in Claret and Blue, Serge? Only a, there's only a few. <laughs> 37 year old. Yes, he was 37 years old when he played in the Premier League for the first time. Okay. Question 18. Jurgen Klinsmann scored for Tottenham on his Premier League debut at Sheffield Wednesday in 1994. But what I'd like to know is who got the assist. Jurgen Klinsmann scored on his Tottenham debut at Sheffield Wednesday in 1994. Who got the assist? Okay. Question 19. After his big money move from Liverpool, Fernando Torres had a debut to forget for Chelsea in 2011 as they lost 1-0 against the team he had just left. But which player who would also join the Blues later that year scored Liverpool's goal? After his big money move from Liverpool, Fernando Torres had a debut to forget for Chelsea in 2011 as they lost 1-0 against the team he had just left. But which player who would also join the Blues later that year scored Liverpool's goal? Who moved from Liverpool to Chelsea that year? Fernando Torres. <laughs> yeah, and someone else. <laughs> the game was at Stamford Bridge, by the way, if that helps in, in any way. It should have been part of the question. The nah, I... I remember a few players that went the other way, but I don't remember anyone that went that way. Or there's a few names that might have that I'm just... Mm. Question 20. I'm looking for a number. In the debut Premier League season, 1992-93, 
there were 22 stadiums used. How many of those stadiums have been used this season? And for clarity, I am not including White Hart Lane. Although it's in the same place, the pitch isn't quite in the same place. So in the debut Premier League season 1992-93, there were 22 stadiums used. How many of those stadiums have been used this season in the Premier League? And for clarity, I am not including White Hart Lane. You don't need to name them all. I just need the number. Would you like me to repeat all questions, Suj? Uh, no. Okay, what would you like me to do? Uh, actually, to be fair, it's not all about me. We have listeners and, um, and people that listen. So yes, do it for them. It's not all about me. Is this something do particular you need clarified? Uh, mm, I've got gaps throughout. This is one of those where I feel like there's some that I'm pretty sure on, some that I have no idea on, and nothing really in the middle. <laughs> so it's not going to help. Um, go for them all. I'm going to try and just whack down some names. As okay. Men. Question one was two Manchester United players came through the academy at Old Trafford and have scored twice on their Premier League debut. Both were at Old Trafford. Both were in the final months of the season, one in 2014, one in 2016. Can you name them? One point for each. Question two, which player from Benin began the 2017 season with a double at Selhurst Park? Question three, Danny Rose scored an unforgettable volley against Arsenal on his full Premier League debut in 2010. But who was in goal for Arsenal? Question four. Which player made a Premier League debut for a new club against Manchester City twice this season? And across the two games, his sides conceded 10 goals. Question five. Mike Dean has refereed 504 Premier League games. The first was between Leicester and Southampton at Filbert Street. Can you name the two managers that day who have also managed England? And can you name the year? Three possible correct answers in that question. The year and the manager of both clubs. Question six was a true or false. No player has ever scored a hat-trick on their Premier League debut. Question seven. Which player made his second Premier League debut for the same club this season, having sight rejoined from Everton in the summer? Question eight. Which Czech player scored twice on his Liverpool Premier League debut in a win at Bolton in 2002? Question nine. Which side debuted in the Premier League with a 4-0 opening day away win at Wigan in 2010? Question 10. In the same year, 2010, which two players were sent off making their Premier League debuts for Liverpool and Arsenal, respectively, on the same opening weekend? Question 11. Which African player scored twice on his Tottenham debut against Portsmouth in 2005? Question 12. Ali Dia famously got Southampton to give him a one-month contract in 1996 and made a substitute appearance against Leeds. Who did Dia apparently claim to be the cousin of? Question 13. Who scored a debut double against QPR in 2012-13 and went on to score 18 times that season? Question 14. Who became the Premier League's youngest player at the time in 2003 when he appeared as a substitute for Leeds and would go on to win 21 England caps in his career? Question 15. Three correct answers available. Can you name the three Englishmen who debuted as Premier League managers this season? Question 16. Which 17-year-old scored a stunning injury time winner for Manchester United against Aston Villa in 2009? 
Question 17, who am I? I may be remembered by fantasy managers as an expert penalty taker. I am the current manager of a League Two team and made my Premier League debut as a 37-year-old wearing claret and blue in 2009. Question 18, Jurgen Klinsmann scored on his Tottenham debut at Sheffield Wednesday in 1994, who got the assist? Question 19, after his big money move from Liverpool, Fernando Torres had a debut to forget for Chelsea at Stamford Bridge in 2011 as they lost 1-0 against the team he had just left. But which player who would also join the Blues later that year scored Liverpool's goal? And question 20. In the debut Premier League season 1992-93, there were 22 stadiums used. How many of those stadiums have been used this season? For clarity, I am not including White Hart Lane. Very good, James. Very good. Thank you, Sean. Um, the ones that I've got blanks, I'm just going to leave as blanks. Because uh, if I spend my time trying to figure out the player that moved from Everton and Man City, give me about half an hour or 45 minutes. I reckon I'd work it out. But I don't think that would make a very good podcast. Well, so let's as, as this isn't like the A to Z ones, you know, if you think of something midway through before I've given the I answer. I always chuck it in. I chuck it in, yeah, by all means. Yeah. No problem. Good. But I don't think I will. Anyhow. Question um, one. Manchester Sush. United, 2016 and 2014. Yeah, I know you know one of them. One of them's easy, one of them's hard. I've got Marcus Rashford down as one. Yeah, Marcus Rashford is correct. Obviously, he That's scored twice against Arsenal in 2016. Mm. The other player is tough. He's now playing for Salford City in League Two. Couldn't tell you, mate. The correct answer is, I think some of the FPL people might remember this, is James Wilson. James Ooh. Wilson scored twice on debut against Hull City um, in, I think, a double game week 37 of 2014. Uh, play. Question two. Which player from Benin began the 2017 season with a double at Selhurst Park? Couldn't tell you, James. What if I said Huddersfield Town? Um, uh, was it... Uh... Uh, Diakabi? No. Okay. Steve Mounier. Oh, Mounier. He came up the other day, didn't he, when um, our friend Tom, uh, and who got the assist at like two in the morning, was asking us to name all the Premier League players from the most obscure nationalities. Well, I'm glad you remember that because I was too drunk, mate. You were pissed. <laughs> well, to be fair, you got the question right then. Yeah, yeah. I think, I think you got pretty much a full house on those with, with Tom. I uh, don't think I did. But uh, yeah, <laughs> Steve Mounier on debut scored twice for Huddersfield in a 3 0 opening day win at Crystal Palace. He was six million. Everyone went a bit mad for him but briefly. Mm. It didn't last very long. <laughs> question three Danny Rose scored an unforgettable volley against Arsenal in 2010. He was in goal for the Gunners. I'll put down uh, Chesney, but um, Wojciech Chesney. Correct answer is Manuel Almunia. Uh, yeah, Manuel Almunia was in goal for the Danny Rose volley uh, in 2010. That's your answer for question three. Question four is a little beauty. Do you know the player who's debuted for a new club? twice this season against Manchester City and can see the total of 10 goals. And I think you've, oh. fallen, you've fallen into a West Ham trap, haven't you, Such? It's not West Ham. It's not a West Ham player. It's not a West Ham player, but it does involve the other two clubs in Claret and Blue. Correct Burnley answer. and Villa. Correct answer is Danny Drinkwater. Oh. Who obviously went on loan to Burnley from Chelsea at a bit of a disaster, played in the 4 1 defeat against Man City in early December when all the games were on Amazon, which um, that was his first appearance for Burnley. They obviously binned him out, weren't happy with him. And then he rocked up at Villa and they threw him straight in the team against City again <laughs> and they lost 6 1. Oh. So Danny Drinkwater is the correct answer. 
Question five. Uh, Mike Dean refereed 504 Premier League games. First one was between Leicester and Southampton at Field Street. Can you name the two managers that day who have also managed England and the year? I've gone with uh, Glenn Hoddle. Glenn Hoddle is obviously correct. Southampton manager, yeah. Sven at Leicester. No, that's not a bad shout, actually, because obviously he did manage uh, Leicester, Leicester after his, his England career. Yeah. It, it's a little bit naughty in the sense that he only managed one game for England, and it was just before Sven took over. The correct answer for Leicester manager is Peter Taylor. Huh. Um, and the year? 2007? No, a lot earlier. 2000. Uh, okay. Clue in there very much being that Filbert Street shut down not long afterwards in sort of 2002. And I think if you could work out that Hoddle Southampton was after England and before mm. Tottenham, you could probably get to the year from there. Yeah, Mike Dean's refereed in the Premier League for 20 years. 20 years? I was yes. just working off the assumption of like 30 to 40 games a season. It would be about 10, 10 12 years ago. No, re but referees, clearly not. Referees don't, mate. They're normally talk between 25 and 30. There you go. Then new thing every day. Question six. No player has ever scored a hat-trick on a Premier League debut. True or false? True. The answer is false. Fabrizio Ravanelli scored a <laughs> debut hat-trick against Liverpool on the opening day in 1996. Ravanelli. Uh, that, as far as I've could find he's the only one. Kevin Campbell scored a debut hat trick for Nottingham Forest, mm. um, but obviously he played previously in the Premier League for Arsenal. Yep. Question seven Which player made his second Premier League debut for the same club this season, having signed from Everton in the summer? I'm really struggling with this one. If you give me the club, I reckon I could get the player. He he signed four. Well, it, it's it's naughty in the sense that he's only played four times for Sheffield United. Um, centre back. Yes, uh, he's got a stupid name. Played for England. Uh, he's played for times. England as well. Um, it's there. We're, <laughs> we're going to come back to it. Phil Jagielka. 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 What kind of name is Jagielka anyway? Jagielka. <laughs> Jagielka. Jagielka. Same difference. Yes. Obviously played, in, obviously played in the Premier League for Sheffield United um, when they came up in the mid noughties People might famously remember he, he went in goal late in the game in a win over Arsenal over the Christmas period. Uh, obviously played uh, for a long period at Everton. Uh, was released by them this summer. Gone and mm. uh, rejoined Sheffield United. He's only made four appearances this season. Okay. Question eight. Which Czech player scored twice on his Premier League debut in a win at Bolton in 2002? I'm Patrick Berger, but I don't... I feel... Because Champ Man, he's playing in 2001 and 2002. So I don't know when he came in and when he made his debut. Then I'm trying to think of other Czechs around that time, but I've got Berger down. Well, for those who've been playing Champ Man, you really shouldn't have fallen into the trap of Patrick Berger or Vladimir Smitsa was the other one I thought could have been a bigger trap. It's neither of them, because obviously they were with Liverpool at the start of the 0-1-0-2 season. Yeah, I know. So it this could is have been like either of them. The correct answer is Milan Barros. Barros. He was a right striker as well, Milan Barros. Always, I always remember he wore number five. It used mm. to really annoy me, really annoy me that he played up front and he wore number five. Mm. Question nine. Which side debuted in the Premier League with a 4-0 opening day away win at Wigan in 2010? Question, I'm not sure. Um, Middlesbrough. No. West uh, and a bit more south, not by a huge amount. It's Blackpool. Blackpool. Blackpool, the fun Blackpool side of 2010 11. Yeah, Marlon Harewood got a couple was amongst the scorers. He was, he, he was and still is a ledge. 
they came crashing back down to earth the following week when they got beat 6 0 at the Emirates. Um, <laughs> and they kind of summed up a lot of their season. They were good fun, Blackpool. Mm. Question 10. I think we know that you know this, Serge. Which two players were sent off making their Premier League debuts for Liverpool and Arsenal, respectively, on the opening weekend in 2010? It was against each other, obviously, as well. So is one of them Joe Cole? One of them is Joe Cole, yes. Uh, and the other, was that Kish- the game Koscielny got sent off? It was. Lauren Koscielny got booked twice in injury time, yeah. <laughs> um, you know, it was a 1-1 draw. Uh, and actually, Liverpool should have won. David and Gog scored. And uh, Pepe Reina threw one in in, in injury time. Yeah. Uh, finished 1-1. Uh, so Joe Cole and Lauren Koscielny are the correct answers. Question 11. Which African player scored twice on his Tottenham debut against Portsmouth in 2005? This is too early. I put down Adebayor, but it's too early for him, isn't it? Yeah, it's definitely too early for yeah. Adebayor. He would have been joining Arsenal roundabouts that time. Yeah. Um, who was it? It's the Egyptian Mido. Yeah. I think Prince few... Mido. <laughs> yeah, of course, yeah. I think a few might have fallen perhaps into a Freddy Canute trap there, and I thought that's mm. what you might do, was obviously Marlian. Uh, yeah, Mido. Scored twice on debut against Portsmouth in 05 and probably didn't actually play that well again for Spurs. Ever again. Question 12. He found Chick King across the road from the stadium, probably. Uh, That's what happened. He, yeah, he liked, a, <laughs> he liked a dinner roll, me, though. He could well, play, but I wasn't a lover of him. Nah. Question 12. Ali Dia famously got Southampton to give him a one-month contract in 1996 and made a sub-appearance against Leeds. Who did Dia apparently claim to be the cousin of? Is it George Ware? It I feel like it's George Ware. George Ware, yeah. yeah. If you don't know the story of Ali Dia, you need to get yourself on YouTube as soon as this quiz finishes. That's <laughs> mainly aimed at the younger people. But it's yeah. one of the most remarkable stories in the history of our league. It's astonishing. Yeah. He got to that position. And they were talking, Graham Soonis and Matt Letizia were talking about it on Sky only about a month ago as well. Mm. Um, Graham Soonis was making new excuses that he didn't make 24 years earlier. So <laughs> funny. Question 13 was who scored a debut double at QPR in 12 13 and went on to score 18 times that season? All the FPL players will get this one. Really? Yeah. The older ones, which to be fair, you wouldn't have been playing FPL then. What, what year was this? Uh, 2012. It's not Harry Kane, is it? Nah, too early for Harry. Uh... Spanish. One name for Swansea. Michu. Michu is the correct answer, yes. Nice scored, to meet you. Scored Michu. twice on an opening day battering for Swansea at Loftus Road. And uh, yeah, went on to score a little bucket load. It was a very good FPL asset for those that played then. Mm. Question 14. Who became the Premier League's youngest player in 2003 when he appeared as a sub and would later go on to win 21 England caps? For Leeds. Well, he came on for Leeds, yeah. Lee Bowyer? No, not Lee Bowyer. I think uh, a lot... Uh, Lee Bowyer is not the answer I've got written down. The answer I've got written down is Paul Robinson, but I don't like my answer. So Ooh, I said... Paul Robinson. God, imagine that 16-year-old goalkeeper. No, the one I expected you to fall into the trap of, Serge, was James Milner, oh. who very briefly became uh, the Premier League's youngest goal scorer. But James Milner is not the correct answer. James Milner's got 61 England caps. Mm. Correct answer is Aaron Lennon. Okay. Who came on at Tottenham for Leeds. Question 15. Uh, three correct answers. Who are the three Englishmen making their debut Premier League seasons as managers this season? You got Frank Lampard. Correct. Dean Smith. Correct. And then surely Graham Potter. Correct. Full house ish. Three out of three. Hey, I'm nearly at double figures. That's my goal every week, go. James, to get to double figures, and I'm nearly there. <laughs> Question 16, which 17-year-old scored a stunning injury time winner for May United against Villa in 2009? I was trying to think of who's at Manchester United who's about 28 years old now. Well, that would be a mistake. Because <laughs> he's not at Manchester United. <laughs> Definitely not. He didn't stay long. 
Uh, then I don't know, because I put down Jesse Lingard. Was the Italian Federico Makeda. Uh, it's one of my favourite ever Premier League goals. I just think to do that as a 17-year-old kid, as a sub on your debut, and United were in a bad place. They'd lost at Fulham the previous weekend and were behind in this game to Villa. And Liverpool were starting, and you could feel they were beginning to shit themselves. Mm. And uh, Ronaldo, I think, got the other two, and Makeda, a magnificent goal he got to win it. Yeah, I remember it now, but uh, yeah, didn't get it then. Question 17, who am I? Any answer, Suj? No. Claret and Blue, 37 years old. You said penalty specialist, mm. which initially makes you think penalty taking specialist, but then I thought goalkeeper. Um, but I'm trying to think of okay, a 37 year old. Then I was trying to think of a 37 year old goal because goalkeepers have a, I did a say expert, career. expert penalty taker. In fact, uh, I thought I said uh, I was trying to think penalty expert, penalty taker, 37 debut at a Claret and Blue club. Like, who would make a debut at 37 in the Premier I, League? I, I think I could fill in half the answers, and you might not still get it, Serge. Yeah. So he's currently manager of uh, another Salford City link here. He's manager at Salford City. Obviously made his debut as a 37-year-old for Burnley in 2009. And he was a very good penalty taker. I think he uh, might even have the record or had the record for most FPL points for a defender in a game week. Yeah. Uh, Graham, Graham, yeah, 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 it's Graham, yeah, B, Graham, no, it doesn't begin with B, one letter earlier, Graham, I only remember because of when Lundstrom was banging in points, and it was, is it the highest points total, Graham Alexander, that's it, Graham Alexander, I'm not giving myself a point for it, but, Graham Alexander, Question 18, who assisted Jurgen Klinsmann's famous headed goal at Hillsborough on the opening day of 1994? No idea, mate. Gaza? Correct answer, nope. Correct answer is Darren Anderson. I was going to... I was. That was the next one on my list, but I was thinking 94 is a bit early for him, no? But clearly not. Uh, you see that picture behind you? On yeah, I know he's in it. Yeah, well, he assisted that goal as well. <laughs> <laughs> Anderson was next on my list. I should have gone with him. Never mind. Question 19. Who scored the goal for Liverpool at Stamford Bridge in Fernando Torres' debut for Chelsea? Who would later go on to Chelsea that same year? Any answer, Serge? No. Correct answer is Raul Morales. Morales. And question 20, uh, how many current Premier League stadiums were used in the debut Premier League season in 1992-93? Just need a number. I've got a four. I will read them out to you. You've got Old Trafford. Correct. Anfield. Correct. Goodison Park. Correct. Stamford Bridge. Correct. Um... There's only seven ever presents, isn't there? Arsenal yeah, but, yeah, but teams, teams, teams have gone down and come back, right? The yeah. four you've mentioned are correct. There is also St James's Villa, Park, Villa Park, yeah, Selhurst Park, which was used by Crystal Palace and Wimbledon in that first season. Uh, so that would only been twenty-one stadiums, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Carrow Road, yeah. And Bramall Lane. Correct okay, answer eight. is eight. Villa Park, Stamford Bridge, Selhurst Park, Goodison Park, Anfield, Old Trafford, Carrow Road, Bramall Lane. And yes, of course, only 21 stadiums were used. That could have been, got, a, good, that could have been a good giveaway if I said that. I got <laughs> as sucked Selhurst into, as one of the um, Yeah, I don't know why I was sucked into thinking that there was only seven potential teams that it could be from because obviously yourselves Arsenal what have you have moved into new stadiums but there we go um, that was a fun quiz that was interesting James very Cheers, interesting mate. tally Four, it up how many you got five six seven eight oh, I thought you were approaching double points I was but then um, I didn't think of uh, 
of uh, Graham Alexander quick enough. And my shout on the stadiums is wrong. But there you go. Good stab, mate. Good stab. Some, of, some of them were quite tough. Yeah, it was, it was fun. But I think a lot of them are game related. So a lot, a lot of people, have, again, have watched through like their Premier League years and probably around our age and remember games well will remember a lot of these. So, but stuff like Real Morelis would be tough. But then it's, it's a spin on the question because then you're trying to work out who else went from Liverpool to Chelsea if you can't remember the goal. That's, that's what you're thinking of. Mm. Good. There we go. I hope you enjoyed the quiz to all you listeners out there. Um, and you know where you can find more because I mentioned it at the start of the quiz. James, give everybody a run date, rundown of what we've got coming up for the rest of the week and then we'll wrap it up. Chatman FPL live stream tonight, tomorrow. Clash of the Correspondence. Adam Hockrob, Adam Hockcroft. FPL Blade, Aston Villa against Sheffield United ahead of the Premier League restart. We'll be talking assets from those two clubs who are going to be much in demand. I'll be streaming Friday. Ask James. We'll be back again Monday with main podcast. Boom. Indeed we will. And by then we should know the Premier League fixtures as well. Um, if you are enjoying the show, then make sure you subscribe whether wherever you get your podcast, whether it's iTunes, SoundCloud, Stitcher, Spotify and what have you. And do leave a review if you can on any of these platforms as well. So like if you do leave loads of reviews on iTunes and Spotify, then we'll get the same contract that Joe Rogan's got for about a hundred million dollars <laughs> to move us, our podcast to uh, Spotify exclusively and, and you know we could do with that kind of cash I mean, if you're watching on YouTube um, then you can hit the subscribe button and also the notification bell so you'll get notified every time James goes live with the Champ Man streams and we put out any videos for any of the podcasts that we do and last but not least um, you can find us on patreon.com forward slash planet fpl if you want to subscribe to get even more content which is really going to be ramping up as soon as the season starts again in two weeks today um, there's loads of cool cash prize leagues uh, offers discounts more content than you can hope for and also a very active slack channel where you'll be inter- able to interact with almost a hundred other uh, fpl managers and some of them are and, uh... pretty good Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, and the quiz will obviously be one of the podcasts that's on Patreon. It obviously wasn't one of the the originals. It, it was a nice filler, I think, while football wasn't on. But it's something we're going to do on, on Patreon every Friday is the plan. Correct, Amondo. Um, so, guys, thanks for tuning in and all of the uh, support that you've been giving us. Uh, one thing I didn't mention was if you head over to the Football Content Awards, you can actually vote for us for best fantasy football podcast this year as well uh, if you're consuming some of our old content or just get your James, mates to vote uh, get your mums your dads your, your everybody kids, get them all to, if you've got an email address vote there you go the awards uh, are so, at Tottenham it's the only thing I might ever see one <laughs> <laughs> uh, guys thanks for tuning in stay safe and ciao for now be nice to each other everybody cue music man child <laughs>